I don't know. Mm. Okay, so I'm. Um, because I, I'm pretty unaware with this, and nobody didn't tell and, me. And I would, um, and most of the time, we don't. Um, you don't have to know. It's not because of you. We're going on an as well as we get it, get it, uh, it uh, the referral, we have to go and make a visit, okay? So it's not because of you. Mm. So, uh, are you taking any medication? Yeah. Can I see them, please?
Who's that doctor? Hmm? Who's that doctor? The, the plumber doctor. Dr. Um, Paulette Stewart. Huh? Paulette Stewart. P A U L X Stewart. So, um, what kind of allergy do you have? You have two allergy medications here. What kind of allergy do you have? Hmm? The allergy. The seasonal. Huh? Seasonal. Okay. So you don't have income, so how do you manage the parents? Uh, um, I don't get income. No, how do you manage? I the don't. Your mother gives you money? No. So how do you? How do you uh, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't get money. What I'm don't. saying is, um, how, do you, how, how do you take off yourself? I can't. It don't look like you know, it don't look like you're not taking care of yourself. That's what I asked him. There's but, something I can do to take care of myself. Mm -hmm. Nothing I can do to take care of myself. I don't have a job. So nothing I can do. So have you looked for a job? All jobs rejected me. Not trying again. So, um, and the, you don't want to go for do you want to go for program or you don't want you don't like it you don't like your program. It depends. So what do you want to do? My main focus is college training. Huh? My main focus is going to college training. Okay, oh, that, that's good. Okay, so um. Are you plan? Are you are you are you planning to go to college by um, fall? Yes. By, by September. Yes. Oh, have you have you found a um, Nassau Community College? Oh, good. Um, are you aware of that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. just waiting to take her assessment test. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm happy to hear that. Mm -hmm. So, what do we like to do? What do we like to do? My name is Amanda. Nicole, just get the work, just get my work done, transfer to Virginia. Yes, so be away from her. You're from here? Be away from her after two years of one, be away from her. Do you have family in Virginia? Yeah. But this is your mother, right? Yeah. So what happened? They have a nice house here. You don't like New York? I don't like New York. Okay. Hey, I'm not a city person. Huh? I'm not a city person. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, I about that. Most people doesn't like New York anyway, because New York is too. Yeah, be, yeah, be. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I got. Anyway, I'm happy, I'm happy to hear that. You know, we want to go to college. That's why I'm, I'm here. Everybody has to go. To, if you can, you have to go to college. Because nowadays, if you don't have the education, you're not, you're, there's no place for you, as far as I'm concerned. And if you want to do a minute job, it can't, it, can't, it can't even feed you. So it's, it's, it's getting rough. I've seen people renting a renting, renting place to live. The, the money that they're saying, I can't, that's a paying mortgage. And that's it. Go ahead. Yeah. So I don't know what is gonna happen. I'm not gonna gonna happen because we we see we see this every day. Because here I may be there may be no no, no much problem. I don't and this I haven't seen any problem here now, but and maybe that is not like uh, what we see. Mm -hmm. So it's not like what we see. Okay. Very different. Very big difference. Really? Wow. I 
you think you have a bad thing. Yes, yeah. So, yeah. Yep. I'm oh, telling you. It seems extreme for us. I know. But, so, what happened? Is there, is it violent? No. No. Okay. Brandon, do you want to explain, Mr. Christian? You know, like pretty much what's going on. Let me finish anything. 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 Let me finish well, she is affiliated now with Cusack. Cusack. She has an MSC with that. Okay. Yeah, she is um, trying to um, assist her with getting into witness. Could she even say what program she's trying to get you into ground? Because I don't know. I wasn't there for the conversation with her. And because that's the problem here. Because. Somebody allowed them. Uh, oh, because of her age, really? but then um, sometimes they have to add, they have to limit all these things to so that people can you know be everybody be involved. Right. You understand what I mean? Right. I understand. Mm -hmm. So then you want to tell me something? I'm here for you. Anything we can do with the, the with, you know family to help, <laughs> we can do. Okay. So do you want to tell me something of what you want, you know? What I want now is just to go to college and just get out of here. Okay, that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, believe me. Um, I'm not going to stay here forever for the rest of my life. Right. Um, and that was not my plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to tell me something? Well, sure. Um, what part of the issue in the street? I'm having an extremely difficult time with Brianna. Um, some areas have gotten better than others, but for the most part, it's very challenging with her behaviors. You know, just not adhering to the rules in the house. Um, my stepfather who suffered a major stroke back in October. My mother has to take a lot of time to care for him and. He doesn't remember everything like he will. Most stroke patients, mm -hmm. you know, don't. He, he suffered a weight loss. And there are times when she's really, you know, abusive, you know, not understanding. Um, you know, and it's very frustrating because mm -hmm. my mother not only has to deal with him, but then has to deal with her. I have to deal, you know, with her. And all we're asking is for some understanding and some patience. Not adding on to the problems and the stress that's already mm -hmm. is the main purpose. Is when we try to get better, you know, we don't need the verbal aggression. Right. Um, it's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and it's just not warranted. Um, but one of the bigger issues that we're having now is the other eating habits. We're watching food, we're taking food from us, you know. Um, and we shouldn't have to feel like we need to lock the food up. This is a home. But we don't hide food, you know, from, from anyone. So I don't know what the compulsion is now with, with the food, but it is to the point she's gaining 10 pounds a month. So the obesity now brings on other medical issues. So and I can see that there's a, she's morbidly obese. My family here. Right, the left woman is supposed to help and it does not. So, you know, she does see a therapist every week and the therapist spoke to me about how she eats and there was a deal that we had, you know, as an adult, she doesn't want us to tell her how to eat. Okay. And that's understandable. And as an adult, we shouldn't have to tell her how to eat. But there is no way we are able to sit at the same table with her Watch her eat a full can of sliced pineapples, two hot dogs with bread each, a half a bag of french fries, mm -hmm. a frozen bag. And then this is every night. Well, some nights she doesn't eat all day. And then at 10, 11 o'clock, she's scrambling half a dozen eggs. 
that's just not considered and it's just not healthy. So in her mind, we are telling her how to eat. She's not understanding, we're telling her how to keep herself alive because the diabetes, she she's borderline diabetic, that's the why she's taking the metformin. So she has, she goes through the 64 ounce of the powdered iced tea in about two days. That sugar, if she's limited, you know, if she gets restricted and has to end up getting insulin or it's bad enough where it, you know, a limb could get amputated or something, she's not understanding. It's her life, you know. And again, obese enough to the point now where the chairs are fragile because they're almost breaking. Yeah, they're, you know, they're not they're not they're not strong anymore. Right. We we like to travel, but I can't afford to pay for an extra seat because she cannot fit in one of the regular seats and going out. We're also not willing to go out and dine anymore, which we shouldn't have to because we tend to like to go out and eat on the weekend. But I cannot sit at the table with her as she is shoving food in her mouth without chewing and properly swallowing. But I can't do it. And this is not a behavior that has always been. This is new. So I'm, I'm just not understanding. And it's making it very difficult around here. The tension is extremely high because she refuses. Water is here for everyone. She's drinking all the waters without consideration for anybody in the house. And nothing is getting replaced. You know, so I, I can be clear with saying I'm at my wit's end at this point. And if there is somewhere where she can live, then how do we get the ball rolling? But I can't keep watching my mom in pain as she's trying to take care of my stepfather. I mean, it's just not fair to anybody here in the house. You know, there's opportunity after opportunity. She doesn't know what it's like to want for anything. Always, she's an only child. Everything has always been provided. There are programs that I would like for her to go into to help her. Because when I shut my eyes, I need to know that she can be independent right. enough to navigate mm-hmm. the world. Right. You know, um, and I think she has improved in that. So she's had conversation with her MSC worker, but I think she's willing to start from her. I don't get involved because she's an adult Mm -hmm. and she can make those decisions. But here in the household, the dysfunction is getting beyond tolerable at this point. I shouldn't have to stay at work all day to keep from coming home. This is my home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I agree with you. So something something has to change here. Uh, they have these that, nightly mm, food binges uh, and food is gone. We're looking for something to eat and it's gone. Brianna? Brianna? Did you hear what she said? No. Uh, what happened is um I think this is a nice. Uh, this is a nice family. I can see the environment. So and uh, a nice family. So let me get this straight. A nice family would tell your own child to kill yourself every day. Their own child that just tells them uh, to reflect how you treat them. But instead of growing up, they treat you like you're nothing. So you mean to tell me a nice family would tell your own child to kill themselves every day? You think it's okay for me to feel that I have to take this blame and like, because I'm just there. So you think it's okay for me to feel my emotions? You think it's okay for me to be depressed every single day dealing with those two over here? No, I shouldn't have feel scared. I should not be feeling scared being told by them, no. I need to be yeah. heard because apparently yeah, you're not the first be. case worker. You're not the second one. Yeah, I have to, to deal with all these cases. This is BS. They're talking to me. Then I don't want numbers to hear. No, this is what I mean. Then I come down. No, I'm and not coming down. down. They're busy telling you all these lies. I have proof. <laughs> I still <laughs> have the audio here. I have that video <laughs> proof telling me I'm <laughs> unintelligent. <laughs> I have no <laughs> friends. But yet you wished a heart attack and death for me. But you don't remember that. But I have that recorded. 
You wish me to get killed by a gunman all because you think you got so defensive because I'm laughing at a child getting killed when that wasn't the case. But you didn't tell that, did you? Of course you didn't, because you want him to believe you, like always. Not the first caseworker, not the second time. You did it to my doctor, and you did it to my therapist. What more do you want from me? Huh? You called a caseworker without telling me? So you think it's okay just because I'm 21 years old as an adult, and you think it's okay to treat me like I'm an it? No. This may be your house. But you got to earn my respect, too. I don't deserve that. Okay. I'm going to come down. No, I'm not coming now. Okay. I have enough of this. Okay. I shouldn't feel scared and feeling the need that I just want to do things my own way. But no, they can never accept me for who I am. All they ever care is about themselves. So unless you want to agree with the abusive people, I'm okay with that. I'm not agreeing with anything. No, I have a hard time believing you because apparently you believe them. I'm not believing anybody. I, I, that's why I asked you to talk to me. And you said you don't, you don't want to talk. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. So I'm not believing anybody. Well, I know I'm here to make sure that... Uh, you guys are living. I'm never safe here. That's the issue. To make sure that um, you guys are um, are living in harmony. No, we're not. They always like to blame things on me, but can never own up to their actions. Okay, so let's uh, let can we consider be a, be a beginning? And then uh, what, what for what she said about your health doesn't mean that you I don't care about my health because you know what. When I, when I actually got into seizure, you want me to tell you what she really did to me in Maryland? She left me there to suffer. So you want to talk about health? She needs to tell you what she done to me when I need a medical attention. I almost fell down and it had a seizure attack. But no, she told, no, she just left me there suffering, back pain, chest pain, had trouble breathing. But no, you can make that face, but I had the exact date. Do not know what she is talking about. You're lying. She You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Okay, let me tell you. No, Let's she's see. lying. Okay, because no, I'm, 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 I think the first time I've seen, seen both of you, but my job, I'm not studying, I'm not, I'm not studying anybody, but all I know, if you, if you know something that, you're, you know, you're, you know that, so, you know. I need a medical attention to these. She left me there okay. to suffer. I had trouble sleeping. My neck was hurting. Okay. My back was hurting. I had trouble breathing. Okay, so she left me that? there to suffer. Okay. She did that to me. Okay, let's say. She that. tried to okay, kill me. Okay, let's say that uh, this is the beginning. It did nothing. Yeah, just this, is your life. This, is your, this is your life. This may be my life, but doesn't mean just because I'm disabled, have autism and bipolar disorder, but it doesn't mean I should be treated any other way. I shouldn't be treated to a sense to feel scared. Where they're treating me and how they're telling people, it's not okay to tell people outside of this home that, uh, that because I like autism people, I want to help them. But you're not helping somebody who already has this feeling of broken and damages. Okay, so why not? Why not? Um, this is your mother. Why not? Um, is she really my mother? Sorry, say, asking me. Why not? Because she's really my mother. Then she needs to own up to what she okay. did to me. Okay, why not? Why not one day? You know, you you know, call her. You now that we talk like mother still, mother still daughter. No, and that's tell, never going. She lost my respect ever since I was. Okay, talking. so it means I'm wasting my time here then. You are. She, she lost her respect ever since I was so a what, So what do you want to do? You want to do? I'm going to go to college. I'm going to get it after two years. I'm going to put up with this only because I'm going to be a bigger person and try to ignore them for any negative feedback or energy. And you know what? Maybe that might be the right thing to do since I don't have money to get an apartment. Don't have a real before a so-called people say a real job like Walmart or auto parts or Home Depot or McDonald's or Burger King. I don't have that because 
they rejected me. I tried getting into the Toys R Us, but because my mother here told me to tell the manager that I can't be the cashier, since I almost got the job, I lost the job because of what she told me to tell the cashier. So what can they do? Because apparently I'm being isolated. I can't get a job if I'm being told by them, as mom and grandma, to tell me what to tell the manager when I have to learn on my own. Because the only person who can do you is me. I have to worry about me, my health, everything. Listen, listen. I have to worry and fend for myself. But sometimes they can give advice, but it doesn't mean that you will take it. Like the, 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 the workforce, they know what to tell people to, like now my daughter, I can, if you're looking for a job, because I've been working. So they I never helped me find a job. I was on my own. Okay, so I'm just saying that, that I can tell my daughter, well, if you're going to interview, this is the kind of language you can use so they can get a job because I've been there. Maybe that's why your mother is talking to you. I don't know. At least she's been taught differently than the ones here. Okay, so let me tell you. Everybody, everybody deserves respect. We are 21 years old. We know. I know that they have some some underlying problem. If they want my respect, they gotta earn it. It's not like a give and take. It's connected. I know that they have underlying underlying problem. But, uh, you're very you are very smart. You can't just take give and take respect. It has to be connected. Yeah, to see, give that respect has to be equal to a bond. I know. I can see that you're very smart. So, but for them, they can never earn my respect. The way how they treating me, no, out, they it's, it's every day. It's, 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 it's just because their family doesn't that's mean they should treat you any that's different. Why, that's why I'm saying that everybody gonna stay, stay back. I'm very and defensive about my own my own space now. Everybody, everybody have to stay back, and you know, it's just your mother. What if anything happened to her now? What are you gonna do? And anything happened to you? She, well, know. all I can do if anything happens to her, that's on her. Because any other, because she no, said no. it. No, she said it herself. A quote unquote. I don't want anything from you. I'd rather be. I don't. Know, whatever she said, I believe her. So you know what? You don't want me to do anything for her. That's on her. Because you know what? The only person to worry about it's me. So she don't. So she don't so put what, me what, in what, this what, daughter what, picture what, anymore. So what, what does she do that she doesn't like? She don't like anything that I do. Even if I, I, yeah, I annoy Fendi, I make him bark, I, I bother Toyo, and I always be, oh, here's Toyo, and oh, there he is. Same with Fendi. I like what they do. Are, what you, are you the only daughter? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. And I don't think I don't have, um, I don't, the other side of my family, my father said I have a brother and sister. Okay. I don't want like, any contact with. Um, anyway. She's piecing lying. all kinds of stuff together. Well, first of all, I've worked in education for years, so if there was any form of abuse going on, somebody would have been to the point where she worked at, she went to the schools that I worked at. So if there was any form of abuse, any doctor is mandated by law if there's any abuse to report it. So they wouldn't do it for my sake, they would be doing it for her. But this is the kind of behavior that I'm talking about. Every opportunity she gets, she is throwing me under the bus. She is never telling her side. I don't have a problem owning up to anything that I do when I do it. But this is not the case here. This is the kind of verbal aggression that we are getting on a daily. It gets explosive and it comes out of nowhere. And for this child to say that no one has ever helped her with anything, she didn't tell you who made her resume. She didn't tell you who's taken her to the interviews. So she's not giving you a good, clear picture of what is actually going on. However, I do hear her now for the first time saying how fearful she is staying here. So I think the remedy should be if you can take her now, let her pack her bags and take her wherever you can take her so that she can be safe. I don't want anybody to be in this home and feel unsafe as sometimes we do when she has made threats. 
I didn't make any threats. Really? Do I need to show him the door downstairs, Brianna? You know, that's from 2009. But you know See, what, Brianna? You know what? I'm sorry you know what? that this is being a waste of time right now because she's showing Christian. something that's mm -hmm. from 2009. It hasn't even been recent. So she wants to put up the past again. But did you the past is the past. But We're Brianna? talking about 2018. If I'm not mistaken, correct? She's bringing up 2009. Okay, okay. So, Mr. Let's, Christian, can I just say this? Did she not tell you that I abused her when she was a toddler? So, if we're talking about going back, you're going back to day one. So, let's okay, be clear. Well, it let's, can't uh, be for uh, you my, and my, not my for I wouldn't that, be saying things Brianna, if it didn't happen to me. Brianna, no. let me tell you. I'm here to, I'm not here to, I'm not, the, I'm, really, I'm not a judge. Right. All I know, I will tell that continue with Kusak. Are you getting counseling? Yes. Continue with it. Is it helpful? She wouldn't go. I didn't want to go. You she ain't helping go. either. Okay. Uh, let me tell you, I don't know what is going to happen. Um, I'm not God. I'm not going to predict what's going to happen. But uh, if I were you, I work with my family. There's nothing like it. Family is important in life. Family is important, but family ain't important when you tell somebody to kill to get somebody killed. Uh, I don't think so, but uh, let me tell you. I I'm, can pull this up now. Um, I can, I'm going to pull it up. Mr. Kitchen, let me also add that she's pulling up the audio. That is one of her, um, I guess, fun times. What she does it's is not a she fun time. provokes um, a situation, and then she records us and posts it on Facebook. Um. <laughs> So she hasn't figured out yet that that is a little unlawful that you would not post somebody without their authorization. Right. It's un you know? It's actually declared it is constitutional because I have a right to feel safe. I have a right to feel like so I need somebody again, to talk to. Again, I have a right to do that. Post that it's unauthorized. And Doesn't again, matter. So on, if I feel threatened, if I feel threatened. You keep saying you feel threatened. You keep saying you feel so unsafe. Man, let let me, this man you. take you to are safety. You you, Don't uh, come up in here. Uh, and you're sitting here lying and talking about you feel unsafe when you have done things upstairs that I can just start talking Brianna, about. Are you telling this many things? Yes. Are they helpful? I still feel the same. What's the word out of What's the word out it? But okay. I still take um, it. Mr. Christian, you need to take her. I don't know what else. I know. Because we're not to, for her to sit here and continue to say <laughs> that she feels unsafe in this we don't home, take, we don't take anybody. So what happened is um, can it be a referral? She doesn't need to be here if she feels. So this isn't even her house. Her. They have, um, she has a two sack. If they believe that um the the I'm not, we don't take anybody. We have to do assessment and the. Uh, and but if the uh, person is saying they feel unsafe in the home, okay, they're they're they're, uh, she's um, she's twenty-one years old, mm -hmm. and uh, she's very intelligent. Mm -hmm. She knows what she's manipulative. So, I am not manipulative. So, no. um, but she's but now that, you're really lying. Remember mm -hmm. that he, uh, living at twenty-one years old, you have to uh, let me tell you. You have to. Your mother has to respect you and you have to respect your mother and have to respect your grandma. How can I respect my own mother when she told me to go kill myself? Well, how, how can I, I respect that? that? How, how, can that? How, how, right. how can she say that? I don't know, I'm since 2016, to, but I haven't told her that recently. I'm not here to argue. What well, well, I know is um, there's nothing we can do. You still live here until your mother decides that you're not going to live here anymore. Then, if you don't have anywhere to go, they will be, they will put a place for you. Who will provide a place for you? So uh, I don't know, but when is that? When does she need to call? When She's the, unsafe. She well, don't need when to When the time? When the time? You should make me feel this, unsafe. This is the time. Okay. That until the time until the time comes, and you know, I don't tell you what to do. We, we have tried time and time again to meet her halfway. No, you haven't. There is not much that she is asked to do around here, Mr. Christian. On Sundays, well, she has a pet, a pet chinchilla that I bought that I don't seem to do for her with. Um, the average person don't have a chinchilla in their home, but she does. And she was required to clean after her pet twice a week. And you call the, the police before, too for that. The days before the garbage is being taken And she out. called the police behind that her too. Not she called the police um, though. When she is reminded that she should do it and i mean nobody's trying to tell her but when my mom has to take the garbage out or i'm assisting my mom or so it becomes a challenge for us uh, and a hardship uh, for let us me because tell you, she's I'm not compliant 
if you if you're an adult, unless what you're unless you're telling me that what you're doing, you don't know what you're doing, then it's understandable better. You help to clean the house. You help to clean your room. If you have animal, you have to you have to clean. I the do. Ass. I am cleaning okay. my room, but okay. I'm cleaning my own time. And if I if no, I no, 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 if no. I do it late, I'm gonna take it out by myself. Okay, but uh, you're not gonna wait until it become a problem. I'm not gonna. I'm. 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 tell you, I'm. I'm somebody who's objective, and I tell you when you're wrong. I'm. I don't. I'm here for you. But if you, I'm not gonna be here saying that most of the things you're saying here is true or not because this is the first time hearing it. But my job is to make sure that you're okay and your parents are okay. That's why I'm asking this medication is helping. If you're not helping you, then do, they don't have to change it a little bit. They talk about 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 your health and telling me that they don't they don't care. How, what can why don't you care? That's why you know. Why I have myself to fend for him. So the only person who could care for my health is me now. Because if I had but, but you still yeah, but, but you, you're, you're here. Let me tell you, I'm a father. I'm not gonna see my my daughter doing something that I don't care how and let and they be here where I come from. Your mother is your mother. There's no limit. But here, I'm, I don't know about here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know about here, but your mother is your mother. You cannot insult your mother no matter what happens. And your mother cannot insult you. You're 21 years old. I think you guys can still work together. I'm not gonna see my. I'm not gonna see my dad. Insulting my, my, you know, their mother. They, both of them talk every day she's in school. Both of them talk every, every, every night. So I want, I, I want that to happen. In. Okay, she's in school in upstate, but every night they have to chat. That mother, that mother daughter. I feel lucky connection. for them. Hmm? I'm glad they have that mother and daughter. Uh, it can happen. It can happen here. Heron, I just meant not to go. All I got is do what I need the, to do. That's right. You know that it, it can happen. It, it can happen. If you want, it can happen. Forget about all these things. If you're asking you, like, if you, like my, my kids, my son, when they eat, they don't eat anyhow because I know I'm telling them it's for your health, not for me. Mm -hmm. I, I can relax and let them eat, but who can suffer? You see, your mother not going to like you to see your and your food. Your nice food, or your, you know, you're not gonna like to see it. That's why we're saying all these things. I'm talking, I'm talking about my kids too. When they eat all this junk, they eat junk, but not always. Okay, so if she can keep quiet, you know, she can keep quiet and do, you do whatever you want to do. One day, what are gonna happen? She's not gonna be happy seeing you blind or, mm -hmm. you know, you're not gonna, you know, no? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Brianna, you, 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 you haven't done anything. You, you're 21 years old and you think you've grown? I'm not grown. I just got to do what I need to do. Okay, so. Get out. Okay. Well, I heard that you're going to go to school. Okay. Are you going to live in the dormitory? Are you going to, are you going to live in school? Are you going to, you're going to be going, going from home? That's my plan. I mean, they don't want me here anyway, so it doesn't bother me. No, but let me tell you, I'm going to want you here. If your mother doesn't want you here, she don't want me in the first place. The, let me tell you, if your mother doesn't want you here, she know what to do. I don't. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, you know, I, I don't. I'm not gonna tell you what. You know what? You know what? If somebody live in your house, if you don't want them, you know what to do. But I'm not gonna tell you. Your mother wants you here. No, she doesn't. You know what I know? Because if my mother really wants me here, she wouldn't have told me that she wished me dead. I don't think she wish. I don't think she said she wished you. She would have wished somebody to to for she said she, um, she, to kill me. She have said that she didn't say that. If she meant it, we say it. You know what are you gonna do? I, uh, what can I do? I have feelings too, but she didn't mean that. But she I, don't, I, don't think he, I don't think you said that because if she said that, if he said it, she would say that he said that. What she did? What she did? Deny. But she, she is denying it. You know what she did? Deny. I let me tell you. Even if I say something in anger, if it comes up, I will say it. But I say it in anger. But you so can that's be me. angry, but you can't just wish somebody dead. I don't think, but somebody tells you, somebody asks you, you mean I'm not saying, I'm talking about me. If I say something in anger, and if it comes up, I will explain that I said, I don't mean it, I said it in anger. But she said she didn't say it. So she what? didn't say she didn't mean it, she meant it. 
No, I said she did. She not even said about meaning it or not. She's telling me now that she never said that she won't. How can how can how can a mother wish her daughter dead? Give me a break. What's she gonna get out of it? She wants you to. She wants you to be somebody. I have what she said here. If she closes her eyes, she wants you to get. She wants you to be somebody. Because she never. She really want me to be somebody the way how I'm being treated now to be isolated. And it actually, in the fact that being told. I don't know today, but my own grandmother that I don't have any friends. Well, you don't. <laughs> that's the bottom line. <laughs> and, but that's you don't. But you don't have any right to tell me. Yeah. I have friends a lot. I don't want. I really have friends in London. I don't know real life. I mean, I'm in person. Actually, I feel more comfortable. So who? That's definitely ask you. Who pays for your phone? Huh? Who pays for your phone? I don't, you don't friends, know. I don't have anybody playing for my phone. So who pays? Hey. For, who pays? Pay? Pay? pay, pay no, no, I don't ask my friends to pay for my phone. It's either that or I don't get a phone. I know. I have a phone, right? Who you pays for what? it? Who 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 pays for the light you're using? Who have who pays? I don't. Is that is that not your mother? So that's why I have to respect her and she respect you. I want to tonight. You don't have any respect. Let for me you. tell you tonight. Call your mother and say, mother. I want to be. She something. just told me. She told me in February in Hawaii that she hate me. I don't think you're the one who's talking. She said it herself in Hawaii. She said she hate you me. Take you to Hawaii and go, go, go there and tell you that thing. You know, I still have to hold that in the feeling, but you know, I let me tell you, your mother goes to work and she wants to come home and the, like she don't want to go home. She I likes those I kids over there. I go home and relax with my kids. That's what. That's that's what it is. That's what everybody wants. I know that they have some, they have some, they have underlying problem, but don't don't allow that problem to over 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 overcome you. Try your best, and so and, you know, I'm telling you, I want the, I want you guys to be the one. It's your mother. It's your blood. It's your blood. Hmm? I want when I live here, maybe give some time and call my call my mother to room and say mother. I want us to be working, and she's gonna help you. Your mother works. She works in the Board of Education. She know better. Okay, Gabrielle. Yes, sir. I can't guarantee a yes. Or I can, uh, guarantee, that, I can that, only guarantee by my action. Okay, let me tell you. I can yeah. guarantee by my action. Brianna. I can't just guarantee by my words. Brianna, let me tell you. By the food, you don't have. You have diabetes already. Stop. You know what diabetes is? Pre-diabetic. Pre, but pre can, from pre can go to high. You know. And the, you know what? If you're eating all this, everything you eat here is sugar. So that's why you have to eat a little bit. I know it's not that sometimes most of them not their fault, but if you see people that are talking to you, I don't want them to talk, talk to you in a in a in a demean way. But you understand what I mean? Yes, I, I don't want I, I don't want nobody to even my daughter, sometimes you other kids they 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 want they want to eat. Mm -hmm. That's it. I, I, there's a way I can talk to her. She understand. You understand what I mean? So if your mother is telling you that you know, do, it doesn't mean that she hate you. Your health, health is important. If you go to insulin now, by this age, how long you can have? If, if, if they put in insulin, how long you gonna do this insulin? You're 21 years old. Every second, every minute, after eating. So you like to be. In, in, if I don't can, like to be injected, if, but if, I if, know. If you want to avoid it, why don't we can't avoid it by all I do is just lose the weight. By limit, uh, yeah, and lose weight. If you do exercise. Skip meals too. And skip, yeah, not even skip. You can you don't have to skip meal. You can eat moderate and do exercise. You can take a walk. Even if you don't want to go to gym, you can take a walk. I don't have a gym. It costs too much for a membership. I uh, know, but you can. You can do. You I can, have a gym in the audit, though. Okay, good. Okay. I don't even touch it. So you can, you know, you can do five minutes, two minutes, and the drink, you're, you're, you're a beautiful girl. What, what is the problem? Because because of these medicines? And let me tell you, lots of people have medicine, but they still function. A Every medicine has a side effect. I know. But if you have if you, if you have a side effect, and if, you know, you tell your doctor. A lot of people on Wall Street are taking this medicine, and they still function. I feel like the Mac old oh, medication making me gain weight every time I pop Maybe the pills. It's, 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 true, it's true, too. But uh, then you can tell it from other things, from you know, because I cannot, I can understand that this medicine some of them make people gain weight. Anyway, 
So that that's why they can avoid avoid it, not take them. They don't take them, but if you have to, you have I to. I didn't take them one time before, and nothing happened. I'm honestly, I was just really happy as I can be, and this I was blessed. Uh, okay. That's what I am now. Okay. But that's when I first time took off when I didn't take all the medication. Right. All of them, and I was just happy as I can be, but never before. Wish I could see that again. Okay, let me tell you. That's the one time I ever felt so happy. Didn't so the, 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 the people in Kusai, what they do for you? Did they, did, did they have, did they, do you guys have one to one? No, actually, Miss Kishi was the new one since Pablo just got a douche with her and that, telling me one thing and not, I mean, it's not like I don't, it kind of more like this point because I had that expectation, like him helping me. I didn't believe him because I just felt off the bed. Like, I know you're not gonna help me, so you're wasting your time with me. So, I that's 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 the, the, the energy I felt like I feel he's gonna tell he's just telling me to make me believe, but I knew that he, he wasn't doing his work, I knew he lied to me. So, I did. I, I felt disappointed, but it is what it is. So for Miss Kashima, I have the same expectations, and I do feel, I do strongly feel she would help me get more motivated to, to like let me see like the like um, a reflection of myself, to, to just say, wow, look at you. I mean, there's some things you gotta work on. I'd rather have that. Kind of like meditation in that looking at myself, then she go a certain way of lecture being scolded the way how I'm having the way how I'm eating. I mean, yeah, just because I'm eating habit, it doesn't mean you have to like put out as an attack because I have like this defensive side here. Like I'm going to get defensive, whether it's in any situation, but it also depends because I can be. Put that defense now and just say, you know what? I'm open minded and I'm ready to hear you out. I can be, I'm serious, I can be like that. But, and I will say if, and I will own up if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Now, sometimes, and a lot of times I can say that I'm wrong, but they say I don't, st I still don't understand. So, how can you tell me I say I am wrong and I apologize for my action? You say I still don't understand because that just like, tells me, like, you don't forgive me. It's like saying this. Crap you say, okay. like forgive and forget and forgive, but do not forget. I believe it's either you forgive the person or you don't. Right. There I you agree go. with you, but um what happened is um everybody everybody's not everybody. Everybody's okay. different, I get everybody's that. Different, okay? I have to deal it with doesn't, it. doesn't mean that the we're different, doesn't mean that we cannot agree in certain things. And you know, you know. So what happened is uh everything gonna everything gonna start in this house. Your grandma, the step um, and your mother. Is, is there, you know, is, is there four of you here, right? Yes, that's correct. So what you can to, you know, like your mother come back from work now. I want to have when she come back from work. She feels, I just say hello and she says hello to everybody she, in the house. She, she feels relaxed and, you know, because it's not easy to go to work. It's not easy. I, I know work is easy. Based so, on everybody so just been saying it. Home, she feels she feel relaxed and, you know. No matter what happened, you know, she never, let me tell you, she never got to throw you away. She, she did if she wanted to. She never got to throw you away, but I want you to help her to, to live, at least to live longer. Because. If she, well, <laughs> I, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. And I respect that, okay. really. So, All the respect. Okay, and, so, um, but if my mom doesn't feel that she don't want me anymore, so don't want me to help, that, that then there's that nothing I can do. The best thing I can do is just give her and, and her day of space. That's all know, I can give her. Not, you know, I, we parents, we we can we do everything for our kids. I'm telling you, even if we, we do everything, so but it, sometimes you got to have to help us too. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, why, why should I go back to my house now? And my kid, I'm gonna come and give me a hug. Daddy, you back. Why? Why? No, nah, they're gonna do it. They didn't send some energy to say yeah. if have a bad day. My, my phone, my phone will start ringing because I don't, I don't work late. Mm -hmm. I don't work late. They beg me to come here to do because they want you to come back. 
Okay. At least you have a family structure, if a good one. Tell you I want to stop you. Make it. Make it. No, he can help you. Whatever she she does the communication. It's okay. always a miscommunication Come between no. us. Let's let, 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 let's start it today, tonight, and see how it's gonna work. She's gonna help you. That's if she and really she helping you anyway. She paying all the bills. She paying all the bills. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna tell you. Nothing. All I can say, Mr. Krishna, was nice meeting you. It was nice you. meeting you, yeah, though. No you know, I wasn't right, um, you know, but, you know, you guys unaware know. of this. It's probably unaware you're coming, but it was nice meeting Where's that number? Is it, the number is there? How would you number? I'll call you. So, okay. I can't guarantee you my word if it's the actions that'll come out as a result. Uh, uh, you hear what I said, right? I heard you. Okay. I heard you. Try, try, it, see, try it, see if it, if it works. Let me tell you, there's nothing like a happiness in the family. Okay? That's what I need. Is Have a good night, Mr. Well, who provides a roof over your head? Let me ask you a question. Who provides a roof over your head for you? I'm saying over here, so no, 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 I'm just a tenant here. Just answer my question. Who provides tenants pay rent? Exactly. Do you pay rent? I don't have any money to pay right. rent. Right. So who provides a roof for you? You own the house or you? Yeah, that's right. Because she owned the house, her mom. She needs to stop saying that. Like, this this is, she needs to stop saying this is her house, but she didn't buy this house. She said, This is my home, was what she said. Still, she's making this, it sound like this she is, owns it. It's her home because she lives here. Yes, this she is lives your here. your home because you live here. And that's your house. It doesn't matter. But my question is who's providing a roof for you? You? you say, yeah, me and grandpa. <laughs> Why are you getting in front of somebody acting all stupid? I ain't like, acting stupid. Uh, I feel know, a certain way here. Very in very plus, I can. Very disrespectful. Well, I, if very on, disrespectful. I came here. I'm, this. Uh, well, he came so, in, and I wasn't aware. It'd be better if I was even notified. Your mother didn't know he was coming. Well, I'm pretty sure she did. No, she didn't because she came in the kitchen and she said to me, "She said, uh, there's a case person." She said. I didn't even know he was good. So no, she didn't know. Mm. She did not know. Mm. And in any case, I'm to on that side of that door. When I get the money, when I get the money, when I start college, I'll gladly leave. Take my pitch and chill with me. That was my plan since high after high school. Well, I don't have the money now. I have, and I, the only person who can work is myself. I have to do the work to get out of here to do my part. Welfare, my welfare is already denied too many times. <laughs> Anyways, <sighs> thank you for supporting me. I needed it. I can't really see so. Um, do what? Okay. There we go. Oh, shit. 